So now we have a lot of uh, people uh, had, uh, that voted for Trump four years ago that are black. The ones we have uh, Trump, uh, blacks with Trump again is out here. And again, you got the you got Candace Raccoon Owens. Um, you have um, what the fat dude from, used to be on the sports dude, Jason Fat Man Whitlock. Whitlock, oh, Whitlock. Whitlock. Yeah, Whitlock. Yeah, well, well, yeah, him. You know, yeah. you got Kanye West calling him a god. Jesus, Kanye. So no. now, you know, how do you, oh. what do you say to the black Trump supporter? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring in a special guest right now. It's my oh. man Damien. He's from East New York. He's from the hood. This is my dude right here. This is my dude. This, this is my this is my this is my dude. This is my dude. This is my brother. I want to welcome before we before you get answer that, bring in Damien. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on. What's hold up, on. Damien? Hold on, hold on. You gotta set me up here. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like your answer. Listen, listen, as they say it's in the streets, they, as they say in the street, I had to line you up, bro. I had to line you up. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a difference between a Trump supporter and a vote for Trump. Okay, go. Cool. Yeah. Explain, explain, explain. What's, your what's the difference? What, what's the difference? Yeah, I'm gonna hear this. I believe in the art of war, right? I'm a black man, I'm 45 years old. I love my community. I have a community center. I run a nonprofit to help brothers and sisters that come home from prison. It's called CMO Network. From the age of 19 to the age of 29, I was in New York State Prison where I earned my master's degree in theology and ministry through services. But my vote for Trump wasn't for Trump. My vote for Trump was a test and i'm telling you at 45 years old this is the woke that i've seen any black people in my lifetime this is the best time that i've ever seen us aware of where we stand in this country so it wasn't a vote for trump it was just a vote against the the, the bullshit that we've been going through so many times are you, too many people, are you, you don't think there's going to be more bullshit by you voting for trump no it's, it's, it's a lot of bullshit going on right yeah. now. I voted I voted for the bullshit. I believe okay. in a, a go field environment, and there's too many people riding on the gray. There's no gray here. I know people that don't look like me, that's not of my tribe, that don't spend with my tribe on purpose. On purpose. But for our people, man, we are so forgiving. I got a, uh, the number one, the number one basketball prospect this year went to an historical black college. That never happened in my lifetime. That can only happen under this idiot right here. I didn't vote for Trump because I think that he would change the system. I know that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So do you this think, do you think that, do you think the young the young man because not because of Trump, but do you think because of the George Floyd and all the other stuff that was going on that and we started waking up to the education the historical background? Because actually back in the day when I went to school with like and Kelvin all of us around the same age, in the late eighties when we started looking for colleges. We had the, the biggest numbers of black people, black kids going to black college because of shows like A uh, Different World. We had uh, school days. And I think that was the awakening. Something happened in between that time that kind of changes from going to start a black college. Well, that's one way to look at it. I see somebody here said a, a vote for Trump is against my organization. Damon, you know me. You know I don't write grants. You know I get my money the old fashioned mm -hmm. way. People of mm -hmm. color have always been the number one spender and the worst investor. That's why they don't mind giving us money. They give us money because we're not gonna invest it in ourselves. So I'm not looking for the government to take care of me. That's not what I'm, I'm that's not what I'm doing. As far as the vote for Trump, I'm not a supporter of Trump, but the enemy of my enemy is my friend. If this system works perfect, my tribe still lose. So anybody trying to fix the system is not on my side. Trump is enough of an idiot to fuck the system up and I'm with that. Sorry about Karan, my Karan, no, no, hey, uh, listen, we cursed. Our, spon our, our sponsors already left. I'm trying to work on it. Next week. <laughs> yeah, our I got I got a mess of things a, a couple of episodes ago. So but Karan, you, Karan, Karan, you look like you was about to say something. Yeah, uh, uh, there's a lot going on. Um yo, it's a pleasure to meet you man because uh the mind gave me a little backdrop and was like, yo, we're going to have this conversation, da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be no beef or anything like that. At the end, yeah, but something you just said really, really piqued my interest about, like, you know, you don't necessarily want to vote for folks that are going to fix the system because the system is designed to essentially oppress us, um, et cetera, et cetera, and, and run it the way that the system is supposed to be. You don't think what 
um, Trump has done is like he's not running the system the way it is because when you think about the system that we are under it's a capitalist system um they believe in white supremacy they believe in in essentially the the, the white apparatus superiority etc cetera, etc cetera. um you don't believe that he's still functioning the system the way that it's it's designed to oppress us like of course i think he's functioning the system all in but one aspect there's no secrecy so those individuals that's telling him, hey, you can't do that. Let's do it like this now. He's like, nah, we're going to be straight up about it. So it's almost like imagine your sister dating somebody that's not good to her. We've been dating America and America has not been dating us. So if I'm talking to my sister, I'm going to tell my sister, yo, stop dating somebody that's not dating you. It's all there. Stop talking about he love you. Stop talking about he makes you happy. The facts don't have no feelings. And the fact says... America does not care about my tribe. And every time I fight and try to sit at her table, she changes the rules or takes what I have. So even if I play the rules, she takes it. Look, do your research, self-educate. You got Freeman's Bank. You got several different times in America where we accumulated funds after slavery, after being in prison, and they still took it without anything. Yo, I'm taking this. Fuck that. So why would we still try to play the game with them? We've all been single, right? We've all been single and women have access to those five words. What are we doing here? Trump gave us the answer. You can't do no worse than me. Why? People ask that question. What are we, a woman will ask you, what are we doing here? Why? Because she want to know what is she supposed to do now? We know exactly where we stand with America and we still try to sit at our table and say, please help me. But when you vote, when you vote for that, you are supporting to keep us in a certain place. No, what I'm doing is backing you into a corner. I am an agent of change. I am someone who changed my life and I help others change their life. Most people, 90 percent only change when they back against the wall. So he, so what I'm hearing is that you um, you you are you're, you're like Trump in the sense that Trump is a nihilist and he is a disruptor. So you are voting for him on that, uh, you know, on that qualification, him as a disruptor, and you wanting to just completely destroy what's going on and be a disruptive or whatever. Yeah. That, Trump is this it. whole thing needs to be torn down, and Trump is the best agent to do that. The, the, the only place you put in a new system, if the other system is gone, you can't place a new system while our system is here. So let me, let me just take something. Uh, I'm going to take some power away from this conversation. Mm -hmm. Right, because we, we get we're going down a bunch of philosophical paths right now. Mm -hmm. None of us in this room have ever voted for president, ever. Right? We all live in New York State. New York State is democratic by nature. My brother, you, even though you voted for Trump, you really voted for the electors that are supposed to cast their vote for Trump. Living in New York State, you basically threw it down a well. Um, and I, I say that respectfully, of course. You threw, right, down no. a, yeah. you, you threw down a well because yeah. the electors in New York State are going to be Democratic. You I'm can look up your electors. Um, oh, one yeah. of them you might know, Bill Clinton, is an elector for New York State, you know, where he votes for president December 14th, I think is the random date that uh, the, the country put in place uh, where those votes are going to be cast. And it's, um, I forget the number of electors. With, 29, because uh, I believe that's how much it correlates to the census, et cetera, et cetera. But we have 29 electors as a state, which is tied for third um, in terms of how they try to get to the number of 270. So it, I, I get what you're saying from a philosophical standpoint, but it really does nothing when we think about well, it with how the system functions. You you're didn't do right. anything, bro. You, no, you, no. you really didn't put him in place. But, you know, no, you no. really, um, I, and, I, and, and you, you know what? Can I can I can I, I chime in? I, go ahead. Kelvin, go ahead. Kelvin, go ahead Kelvin. I, you know, you know, I think in, in this 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 conversation has really, really helped me understand something. Trump gets credit for being an idiot. And that because I was trying to figure out why people would vote for him. Because I was like, you know, I remember initially it was this thing about I'm going to drain the swamp, which he fired more people in three years than I've seen in my entire life in about 10 administrations. So in other words, he doesn't get credit for what he knows. He gets credit for what he doesn't know. He gets credit for what he doesn't do. And so now you made me understand a lot of that. So what, saying, what you said in essence was 
you think he's an idiot and you in turn align yourself with an idiot. And so now I understand that. So that makes a lot of sense. So I used to wonder, I was like, when I see the man, I think nothing intellectual. I think nothing, you know, um, thought provoking. I think a man that knows nothing about foreign policy or foreign affairs. And then um, I hear tonight that because a young black man decided to go to a hysterically black college instead of going to a regular D1 school, which he really much, pretty much did that on the strength of George Floyd dying and yeah. did not attribute any of that to Trump. But and Trump gets credit for that. So now I want to thank you because you made me understand the nonsensical. And I appreciate you for that because I was looking at it wrong. I was thinking it had to do with logic or common sense or intellect. And now that none of that is in play, you're right. He becomes the perfect candidate for certain people. And that makes a lot of sense. So I appreciate that, my brother. You you just you just helped me understand. I've been struggling with this for three and a half years, and now you brought some clarity to it. So if you are an idiot, then then some people will vote for you because of that idiocy. And that makes a lot of sense now. And now I get it. So so thank you for that. Because I didn't get that before, and that makes a lot of sense. My, my question for you, D, is uh, this. Like, you know, with the black people, like COVID, COVID-19 destroyed our community. Like, when they say the white people get a, a cold, we get the flu. And it, it, it's shown this year because our neighbors, like, we were talking a little while before, before about, like, with the census and stuff like that. In my neighborhood, I think 11436 zip code in Queens. We don't have an urgent care. No way near me. I had to go to a white neighborhood. I got to, had to go over to Howard Beach to get an urgent care. Right? Uh, so, so what now? With COVID nineteen, how many we have the two hundred twenty two thousand something like that two people yeah, dead two hundred twenty and probably so many black people. How was he good for us during the COVID nineteen? And then I'm gonna ask you another question from a brother named Marshall in there in a minute. Well, I, I hope we have a transcript because I didn't say that Trump was good for us. Okay, what I said was in my forty five years on this life, I have never seen my brothers and sisters so woke. So it wasn't about Trump. I agree with that. I, 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 I don't know what on your in your lifetime. You said in your lifetime. That's right. right. As far as the young man speak, uh, going to a historical black college, I did not say what I said was the situation. If we want to talk about George George Floyd, I know that maybe several other presidents would have took a knee. It mm -hmm. took an idiot to not listen to anybody else and say, let's take a knee. For some reason, there's still black people here that think that America is for them. Even but though what, we you're, what, what, you're, what you're doing, what, but the problem is you're mixing issues. So in yeah. other words, everything that happens under his administration does not mean that he caused that. So yeah. I say the other day, the other, day I, saw a young, the other yeah. day I saw a young man help an old lady across the street. That's because Trump is in office. It just doesn't work like that. No, so I'm never, you can't mix I'm never giving him credit for that. Right, but what, what, what I'm saying is this. In other words, these messages come off mixed like that. That's what I'm saying. I've never seen brothers and sisters so woke. You've never seen a man get someone to hold his knee on somebody and kill him like that either. So in other words, what happens is this. And right, that's right. Right. But, well, well, the rest of the world has it. The rest of the world has it. So I want you to know they could have done that with Obama in office and killed the man too. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, I, I'm saying don't give him credit for things that have happened just because it happened to happen in his administration. That's what I'm saying. But if you say that, I was, I, in other words, what I was saying was this. I realized he doesn't have to do anything to get your vote. That's what I realized. In other words, you feel he's an idiot and you voted for him. So that makes a lot of sense because I used to wonder why people voted for this man who said, I'm not a politician. I don't have a record. Now he has a record and he has a failed record. But again, people say being an so, idiot is, is a positive. I didn't know that. I thought it was a negative. Kelvin, you just said he got a vote for being an idiot, right? I so Kelvin, I asked you to put Trump's record against America's record. What's the difference? Put it into context. What, is, what, is, as a country. what have they done for your tribe, America as a country? That was so wrong that Trump did not do the same thing. America so has a In other words, I get what you're saying. So in other words, if somebody treats me bad and somebody else treats me bad, I just need to just vote for somebody else bad just because I've yeah. been treated bad. Yeah. Correct. No, no, just bro, just get comfortable with being treated bad. Just get comfortable with it. it That's basically it, what you're saying. If I could Trump, just add... 
that one line really like makes the the hairs on my neck stand up about like you've never seen our brothers and sisters more woke and I, I, someone in the comments basically said exactly what, what i was thinking you know when we think about our brothers and sisters being woke like this era of social media makes it seem i guess a bit more sensationalized than it is you when we think about wokeness we're really talking about like raising consciousness and, and people being uh, completely connected and understanding ourselves collectively, if I could use your words, Damon, as a tribe, you know, recognizing mm -hmm. that we are all of the same and we should be supporting, you know, that connects to supporting Black businesses and making sure that our um, apparatuses are raised up. That's what the, the Panthers, you know, the Black Panther, the Black yeah. Panther Party wokeness that they embody that when we think about the black political convention of 72 this was literally black people from all over the united states coming together to have this dialogue about like how do we participate in this political infrastructure that is the united states that was designed to oppress us and how do we go back to our communities and become elected official elected officials that really you know represent and do the, the things for our future fast forward even when we think about when crack it, it, is, it was it, in our communities, you know, there was uh, the Black men's movement against crack uh, in the late 80s, early 90s, you know, that right here in, in Bed-Stuy and, and East New York, you know, so when, when I think about, I, and I'm not going to give any more, well, no, I'm, I'm going to give you a chance to respond. I'm, I'm going to just finish, finish my statement with like, you know, these are, are prime examples of really just small examples of what is a part of our history. There's always been a, a conscious thread that didn't need the worst extreme of, of of, of what's happening around us in our present day to organize themselves. They were organized because they were, they, there's so many other things that we have to face and, and, and fight against. And I, I know we're like moving on time. I wanna say this, you know, we can get caught up in presidential politics as a community. This is the time where everybody swear up and down they know politics. They watching CSN, CNN and MSNBC every, every evening that they come in and they tweeting random stuff about politics. Like everybody knows something all of a sudden, you know, um, I like uh, I'm not putting myself out there as an expert, but I, I also I studied this, you know, I studied government and politics as an undergrad, you know, I got my master's in public administration. Um, I pay attention to this non in non presidential years. So my encouragement to all of the viewers and everybody that's listening is that next year might even be more important than this year in terms of local elections, we got 36 council members that are term limited council members have more control over your immediate lives than the presidency when you right. really compare the two. When you right. want to see a change, you know, everybody used that Gandhi quote, be the change that you wish to see. You know, the changes come from those local seats when we are completely attuned to what's happening locally. So that's 2021. There's a bunch of term limits. So that's just the city council. Four out of five of the borough presidents are term limited. Just to define it, term limited means, you know, the... Eric Adams, borough president of Brooklyn. He can't run again in this cycle. That's why he's running for mayor. You know, Mayor de Blasio, he's term limited. He can't run for mayor. You know, when you think about it, the political landscape of our communities are about to shift in the, the most hard way. And most people are going to drop off the map after November 3rd, after they cast their vote, and then think about it in, in the next four years, 2024. Yeah. That's when you have Diddy and everybody else. They got all these plans close to election day, but in between years, where the hell are the plans? Where, where's the, 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 the founding the party? Where, where is that? You know, where, and why aren't you yielding to the people who are doing the work in between the, the, the those uh, presidential years, so we can get we could go back and forth in presidential politics. It's real easy. It's a it's a it gets everybody excited emotionally. But really, I want to encourage everybody to just t pivot their focus well beyond November third because twenty twenty one is huge.